It's their choice. Okay, we have one last question back here. Uh, Joe, how you doing, Eric? Hey, Joe, how you doing? Question. Um, having played countless shows with the band, I know the set lists have remained more or less the same. And I was wondering, you know, you being a fan as well as a drummer, if you had the task of dropping a song from the list and replacing it with another Kiss song, what would that be? Well, if it was my choice, they, I wish they would do more stuff off of, off of Dress to Kill, Hotter Than Hell, or Kiss, the first album. Because those are my favorite albums. But, I mean, I'll be quite honest with you then, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but when we did like stuff back in 94, like Foundations Forum, we started doing like Watching You and Going Blind and all that, that was because of me. Because I kept telling them, um, play these songs, these are the cool songs. So, you know, you, you, know, you got to stop and think. Of all the people who have ever played in KISS, because there's been a bunch of guitar players, a few different drummers and all that, but I'm the only person that ever was a fan first, became, and then ended up playing in the band. Nobody else. Not Vinnie Vincent, not Eric Carr, not Bruce Kulick, Mark St. John. None of those guys were fans of KISS when they joined the band. And I was, from day one. I bought the first record. I was a KISS fan from the minute they came out. I remember seeing their little pictures in a rock scene magazine that from New York, um, they're listed under new bands and buying their first record. Nobody knew who they were. I remember they came to Cleveland, they opened up for Rory Gallagher at a club. And Rory Gallagher was an Irish blues guitar player. I mean, that's kind of weird bills that KISS would play on. So, I have a very unique perspective. And I've told this to Gene, and I said, you know, Gene, I'm the only one that's ever been a fan and been in the band. I have a kind of a very different perspective than anybody else, you know? And he, he, when he stopped and thought about it, he goes, yeah, you're right, you know? But I did really have a lot of influence back then of getting to play those old cool songs. That's the shit for me of KISS. That's the stuff I like, you know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it from Drive, Kiss, Alice Cooper, everybody else drummer, Eric Singer. Drive? I wanted to get you on that.